So guys, got back from immigration, no charge, Lisa's new passport, and her old passport, the visa's been put into Lisa's new passport, no charge. So if you need a new passport in Thailand, stay to the end and I'll tell you where you can get it done. And it's an easy process, a cheap process, and an awesome process, and a great service. Guys, why wouldn't you want to come to Thailand? Huh? Look at this. Awesome. Come visit. Tiki on the sofa for you and amongst other things, what we've been up to. So, take a look at what's been going on. You can see, this is pretty much seen better days. And I've painted it quite a few times. So my plan is to take all this out something more permanent in and it's going to be those rocks and I'm going to face it all the way up to the top and those different coloured stones that are long are going to be what I use these for hanging your towel on for hanging your towel on like this but rock sticking out as you can see it's seen better days guys and what I'm going to do with these rocks and these bits here, those rocks I'm going to use for facing the shower area. As you can see, the uh, shower area is a bit knackered, the bamboo's at it, and so it's never going to last. So I'm going to take all the bamboo off and face it with these. And these here are going to be put in, let me show you, that side. I've taken all the bamboo off, so it's down, and there you go. So that's going to go all the way up, and also that side, and I'm going to do the sides along there. So once it's all done and cleaned up and got a lot of the mortar off of it, it's um, crocodile tile adhesive. Really good stuff, really pliable, really good to use. Going to continue up there and down the sides and then it's going to have a like i put on here the um acrylic sealer i'm going to put an acrylic sealer over all of it not that it needs waterproofing but i'm going to do it because it will really really be a glossy look like the tiles and it'll protect it to a point as well but also it'll look it make it look like it's wet all the time even super wet see there's a little bit of the stuff there and you just gotta get the old wire brush in and clean it all up like so so I'll keep you posted. This is where we are. That's the tap all sorted out. And now I've run out of rocks now. So what I've got to do is let this dry off and try and get some more of these rocks and break them up. Do this bit up here and take that off and do that bit there. And the back bit I'm just going to screed. But yeah, just having a tidy up. Bit of work in progress. Cleaned all the uh, stones which go back down there I'm going to clean them all up once that bit's there so I've just raised it a little bit so the water goes down to the drain so yeah quite an eventful day really the equipment Ning's been busy next door with one of his work colleagues all good so look have a look at this guys the top little bit's got to be done but how good does that look huh it is fantastic as you can see then what I'm going to do from here is once it's all done I'm going to rub it all down and then same as the the bar top and then wax it looking good huh so a gentle little ride down to the stadium just take a look at this in the morning it's absolutely stunning i'm so lucky to live here
had a little bit of a mishap over the last few days and I've had two water heaters that are broken. My bike's only running on one cylinder and I think there's something else. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to try the bike out again on Sunday and see if not. I've got it booked in for Honda Big Wings on Monday but I'm not sure whether it's going to get there or not. So this water heater, 6,000, I've got a receipt for it so I'm going to take it into Home Pro and see if they can repair it or give me a new one. I doubt it but there's that one and there's this heater under the sink as you can see there and that one's not working either. So it's a bit of a ball lake at the moment. Typical cut Parker after the rats have chewed away at my HT leads which are connected to spark plugs. But the thing is I'm going on one of these. Yep, it's a long way on a little click, I must admit. It hurts my shoulders and my back, but hey, they're kind enough to have lent me the bike. I presume they've lent me it. Last time they lent me it, they never charged me, but we'll see. So, let's go Phuket, guys, on the big wing next stop. So guys, park us back, all sorted out and all done. Ready for the next adventure. Where are we gonna go? Let's see. Old passport. New passport. Look at that. Visa's been moved from here to here. All good, huh? So guys, I hope you enjoyed the little video there that was uh, just, I know I haven't posted something for a long time, but just good to catch up now and again. I took a little bit of break out of it, but with regards to the passport renewal, I know um, I've put the, at the end I will put the li uh, a link down below and I will put the Facebook page to Mark's sending machine. I know he does British and South African passports, but if you contact him via Facebook and ask him if he does your passport, the process is really simple. He sends you all the information that you need to read and the forms to fill in. He does it via power of attorney and he visits the uh, passport offices and gets everything done for you. He charges 4,000 baht, and that's what it costs at this particular moment in time. It may go up, I don't know. But the best thing to do is contact Mark through Mark's sending machine. And you send all your information off, uh, EMS, and then he does it all for you. And then you get the emails from the passport office. And the day that um, Lisa's passport come back, um, to the passport office, he goes and picks it up, takes everything there, picks it up, and we received it the day the passport office sent, the day after the passport office sent us um, to say it was complete and all done. So it's a fantastic service. So again, check and send Mark um, a message. Uh, tell him Bad Badger, Tony sent you. And um, it's a great service, guys, and it's pretty seamless. Mark's full of information, and he talks you through it, holds your hand, and does it all. It's an amazing service. So if you need a new passport, and you don't want to go back to your home country, then check Mark's sending machine out. So again, cheers, guys. Thanks very much for all my subscribers. And um, as I always say, stay safe, guys.